Hello okay, guys, so welcome back to this channel. So from this video we are going to start a new project series on YouTube and we will build a complete full stack e-commerce application in Next.js 13. We will implement the authentication, pagination, search, filters. We will accept the payments using the Stripe checkout and we will create an admin panel and all that stuff in this project. So first of all, who am I? My name is Lama Bas. I am a full stack web developer and I am making uh, these types of uh, courses on Udemy for last four years. So you can see that I have over 64,000 students and around 3,500 reviews uh, from 183 plus countries. So I can say that I have a good experience in making these type of courses. So you can go to my Udemy profile and check out my different courses on different technologies like Node, Django, Mernstack, Next.js, Nest.js, Unit Testing. I have different courses uh, on Udemy. Now I have decided to make a complete Next.js course on YouTube for free. And if you are my Udemy student, you know that I always make a project based course. So in this course that I'm going to make on YouTube, I make a complete full stack e-commerce site in Next.js 13. So let me show you a complete demo of this project that we're going to build in this complete series. Okay, so make sure to watch the complete video and I will share the initial files that we need to start the project and then from the next video we will start working on this project so this is the home page of the website you can see that we have a logo here the project name is buy it now just a simple demo name then a search bar to search the products then card and then sign in button then we have list of all the products then we have here the filter on the sidebar okay so first of all you can see that here we also have the pagination if i click on page two i can go to the page two we have two products per page you can definitely increase that and we will discuss all that in our videos so you can simply go to first page and second page and that depends on how many product do you have and how many product do you want to display per page okay so this is the pagination and i can also search anything here for example i want to search this microphone i simply type here like sure you can see that i only get here uh, this microphone in the same way i can search here uh, like this monitor so i type here monitor and you can see that here it is now searching here okay so in this way we can um, search and pagination so on this sidebar you can see that we have some filters if i want to get only products uh, with specific rating i type here for example i i only want five star products i don't have any if i click here on four you can see that here we have this product that has rating of four or more than four in the same if i click on here three i get more products that has rating more than three and if I click here on two, you can see that we get more products with this rating. So in this way, this rating filter will work. And now we have here the category. If I click on electronics, I only get the electronics uh, uh, products with this category. If I click here laptops, now this is not a laptop, but I have given it category just to show you. In the same way, we can filter out all the products based on the category. Also, we can define here a price filter. For example, I only want to see uh, the price uh, or only want to see the products that has maximum uh, price of $100. If I click here on the go, you can see that I only get here this product. If I type here only 200 like this, and now I have products that has price less than 200. In the same way, I can define here the minimum price like 100 to 200. Go. Now you have only uh, those products. In the same way, I can define here only minimum. Click, click here go. You can see all the products have price greater than 100. So in this way, we can apply different filters, and you can also apply multiple. Um, you can say that filters at a time. If I type here uh, four, you can see that here we get here this product that has rating of four. So in this way, we, we will implement the search filters and pagination. And now let's move on. If I click here on the product, you can see that we have a beautiful loader. We have added the uh, breadcrumbs here. Now we have this product details page on this side you can see that here we have the product images i can click here and change the images like this all the images are hosted on cloudinary if i open a new tab you can see that here these are hosted on cloudinary on this shop it now okay uh, folder so in this way we will also uh, upload the product images here we have the product title ratings price uh, the description add to cart button then the stock information if it is in stock or out of stock then the uh, category and then the brand you can definitely add more features if you want and if i scroll down you can see that here we have the reviews for this product we i have here two reviews and i cannot post a review i have to be logged in 
and also I have to purchase this product in order to review this product okay and we will discuss that later so now if I want to buy this product I simply click on here add to cart now the product is added to the cart you can see that here I can increase the quantity here this is the sidebar where you can see that how many units I am purchasing uh, the price the estimated tax which is 15 percent you can change that I know nothing about tax and this is the total price that user has to pay on the uh, checkout if I want to add more products I can click here add to cart now you have two products in the cart you can increase the quantity here like this now if I click on continue you can see that I am redirected back to the login page because that route is a protected route so I have to log in so I have already created an account so I add here my email and then the password that is one two three four five six if I click on login now you can see that I am redirected back to the shipping page and now the user is present in the header and now we are logged in okay so here I can select my shipping information I can add multiple addresses in this application I can select that from here or I can also click on here add new address and I can add all that address and click on add and then that address will be saved in the database for that particular user okay so I can simply select here the address so this is the summary this is the amount this is the tax this is the total amount these are items that I am purchasing so now if I click on here checkout it will take me to the uh, please select your shipping address so I select here this address actually click on checkout and now it will take me to the stripe checkout page and you can see that here I have these two products with two two quantities and now my uh, sales tax is 15 percent that is 108 and shipping is free I will also um, explain that how we can add all these features on the stripe checkout page and this is the amount that I have to pay so I add here my dummy uh, card data I add here CVC like this and now if I click on here pay and now it my I will pay my amount and create the new order and now you can see that here if I go to the page 2 so this is the order that we have just placed okay so to uh, this and to this so you can see that here in the order details the order ID uh, oops I think so I have to type here ID okay so now I here the status is processing we will add the ID also uh, in this course this is the date then the person details okay delivery address and then the uh, payment status is paid this is the tax this is the total amount that user has paid and these are the products okay so now our order is placed successfully and now if I click on here on the user you can see that I am on my pro user profile page so this is the user dashboard so here you can see that we have user image name email and joined on date here I have list of all the addresses that user has saved I can click here also to add a new address and you can save that also okay so these addresses will be displayed on this slash shipping page all right so this is our profile page now here I have the list of all the orders so these are my previous orders while testing the project here I have also uh, my new order okay so we will display the orders also of the user then here we have the update profile a user can update his profile user can update his avatar as well if I type here like B click on update you can see that the username is updated successfully here in the same way you can update the user avatar you can update the password here give the current password new password and then it will um, change your password and then we can log out and these are the admin routes only admin can access that now this user is admin I can create a new product here all right if I type here something like this and just to show you click on create product and now the product is created successfully here you can see that this is the demo product I can edit the product okay I type here like one two three update product is updated successfully if I go to the all products and you can see that here the product is updated I can delete that product I can also upload the images and let me upload some images here I upload these two open so these are the images preview then click on update now it will upload all the images and this is the beautiful loader and button is disabled and now the images are uploaded if I go to the home page on the page 3 you can see that this is our uh, test um, product and these are two images that we have just uploaded I can also delete those and now it will also delete the images associated with that product and the product is deleted successfully here and now uh, I can also go to the all orders where admin can uh, see all the orders uh, uh, in the basically entire application 
you can edit that and change the status for example from processing to shipped or delivered like this now it will update the order in the same way we can also delete any order and the same way we have here users we have two users here and this is the one that we are currently this is our admin user and second one is the uh, user with the normal uh, with the uh, user role I can also edit and change the role of that user like this okay so now if I log out and let's log in with other account that is I think to this one if I click on login now this is a normal user you can see that this user haven't uploaded his avatar so we will display our default avatar here if I click on here now you can see that this user cannot access those admin routes if I go here like uh, admin products you can see that the user will be redirected to the home page because these are for only admins okay and now uh, if I go here and click on here now user cannot um, uh, give review to, to this product because the user haven't purchased that product okay so if I log out from here and if I log in with the other account like this login and now if I go to the home page and now if I click on this product and we know that you this user has purchased this product so now this user can post a review if I scroll down you can see that here we have here option of uh, your review okay so this is the old review I can update that like type here good post review and now it will post the review on this product if I reload it I will also add functionality so we don't have to reload it you can see that we have here the review of this product okay so this is the project that we're going to build in this uh, course I hope that we will enjoy that we will cover all uh, about Next.js and Next.js 13 we will discuss about nested layouts okay we will discuss about the authentication and we will discuss that how we can manage all the stuff in the Next.js 13 and we will use MongoDB uh, to save our data and I will highly recommend you that you should know the basics of MongoDB, Node and Next.js alright and you don't have to be expert in these technologies but you should know the basics okay so this is a complete demo of this project and you can also see that the cart is cleared after the user has placed the order okay so now uh, let me give you the initial files that you need in this project to follow along so if I go to my github profile um, I type here open my github profile here let me show you the github repo that you need if I go to the repositories click here on buy it now this is the project git repo link uh, sorry repo and here you can see that I have a branch with the name uh, 001 buy it now components so these are static components that you have that you should have in your uh, computer in order to follow along if I open that here so th this is what you will get after downloading or if you clone that repo in the source this is a simple react project that contains all the components that we are going to use in this of course because I don't want to type JSX it will take a lot of time so I will give you the static components if I start this project just to show you that these all are static components and I will use tailwind in this project so this is you can see that this is the home page so this is the component list and you can click on each component to check about that component and these all are static components okay so these are all the components that we will use in this uh, course uh, and I will discuss all about these components one by one then we will use them okay so make sure that you go to this link I will also add this link in the description of this video make sure to clone this repo or download it and make sure that you all have all these components that we will use throughout this course now I have shown you the complete demo of the project I have given you the initial component files and you should know the basics of MongoDB, Node and Next.js. From the next video, I will properly start working on my project. So if you have any question in your mind, you can definitely ask in the comment section. I will definitely reply there. So I will see you in the next video in which we will start working on our project. Stay tuned.